All right, my friends. We were just talking the other day online there about yellow jackets. And I've got a whole big hive of yellow jackets in the ground beside the house. So this is, this is actually my bag that holds my flippers for my snorkeling stuff. It's going to work, but I don't want to put it on too soon. So anyway, that's what it's going to look like. All right, just so I don't get bit. And I'm going to use, this has been proven on the internet, on YouTube, I'm going to use Dawn. It does something about taking the oil off the, off the yellow jacket's skin. And I'll turn you on when I'm back out there. I really hope it's not that exciting. I've separated the foliage because it was really in a thick part of our perennials. And they're coming in and out of there, but less now because it's in the evening. So I'm going to go do this now. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, it's right over there. The wasps are coming out of that hole right there. Yeah, there they come. That should work. It's going to have to. So Don down the hole first. Got bit twice a little bit. Don't go back in. Go back in. I can hear him just going crazy. They're all around me. I did get bit through these gloves. Isn't that amazing? We'll see how I do. This wasn't a big bite though. Cover me, I'm going in. I'm gonna try and squirt some soap into the hole. Good thing the camera is uh, waterproof to 10 meters or some ridiculous thing, eh? I wanna squirt some more right into the hole now that it's not so busy. Sorry. Oh, it's busy. Yep.
I used up the whole thing. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah, they're pissed off. Okay, I better get out of there now. See how we do in the morning, eh? So I did, I filled it up twice and then I squirted it with soap three times. Okay, my friends, that was nuts. I thought there was going to be one hole about the size of a silver dollar and there were five holes and the, the area that they had dug out was the size, was the diameter of a coffee can. Like a big coffee can. Thanks. Holy moly. So right now it's 30 degrees late at night. Well, after supper, right? For me that's late. So I'm just trying to get these off of here now. I did get nipped once through this glove and once on my wrist, just lightly. <laughs> Little adrenaline rush for the evening. So, uh, let me just look online to see if I can figure out who that was that uh, got me going on that. <laughs> I'm just sweating, eh? So I'd like to thank Tyler Lloyd, T-Y-L-E-R, L-L-O-Y-D. And he did one that was about my, the one I size I had here. But his was deep in the ground. And mine went down about that far and then it branched off in five different channels, if you can believe that. Oh, so, how do I look? Thanks a lot, guys. That was crazy. Hi, guys. It's the next day. I got a different pair of gloves because the other ones uh, were so full of soap. I'm going to go dump some, or first I'm going to remove the coffee can from the top of the, uh, the wasp nest. Then I am going to, pardon me, I just dug the dirt. Then I'm going to take a five-gallon pail, two-thirds full of dirt, and pour it over top. And I might wet it down. I don't know yet. So, thanks. I got a friend coming over right away. The yard will probably be covered in wasps. We must press on. Okay, here's the attack zone. I got a couple of wasps flying around still. Quite a few, as a matter of fact. Let's pull the coffee can. You're with me, right? Ah, nothing's easy. Perfect. You see that? Right there? Sorry, you missed that. I just dumped some dirt on there. There we are guys, thanks for watching. Whew, that seemed to be a success. The hardest part was digging the five gallons of soil. So I used up the rest of Mrs. P's Dawn Platinum. And we still have a, a, a kitchen size one left yet. I don't know how other guys do it, but my videos are shaky because they're take one and that's it. So you get what you get and sometimes when I'm working on a mower you'll see my back or whatever because I get so engrossed in the issue just like the wasps that the, uh, the, the objective is to do the job and the secondary but also as important but I forget objective is to film it like Steven Hamburglar. So anyway we'll talk to you later. Oh, okay my friends it's been 24 hours. We'll just come over here. You saw me from this angle. You saw me kneeling right there. So there we go. I put five gallons of soil on top of the hole after using a half a liter of palm olive. No, uh, Dawn dishwashing detergent. Right, that's right. But you know, next time. I might even just use the soapy solution from my ultrasonic cleaner because it's getting really, really well used. There's still a few guys wanting to go to work.
He seems confused. Oh well. I call that a win.